Good evening, everyone. Despite pleas to the government for her to stay, Maribel Trujillo's fate appears to be decided. She will be deported. Nine on your side, the reporter Ashley Zilka is live outside the federal courthouse with how this desperate attempt to keep her in America turned up short. Ashley. Mary Bell Trujillo could be boarding a flight to Mexico as soon as 2 a.m. That's just three hours from now. The mother of four tried to get emergency stay of removal, but the decision came down and she was denied. With signs in their hands and sadness in their eyes, people prayed for Mary Bell Trujillo. Just hours before her possible deportation. Kills me to think about this family being divided for 20 years. ICE agents detained the Butler County mother near her home last week. Immigrations and Customs Enforcement discovered her case in 2007. The court ruled that Mary Bell filed her appeal too late. I do respect that we're a country of laws, but I think there's a higher law, and that's love and compassion. And it's not justice anymore when it's ripping families apart. Sister Tracy Kemi says Mary Bell never had the chance to say goodbye to her family. She spoke with her husband after a different vigil on Sunday. He feels like his life is, is being ripped apart. And he had tears in his eyes. Um, and he leaned over to me and he said, I thought our family didn't matter. But now I see the community coming together and I know that we do. With the clock ticking, Stop this deportation. Guy. Supporters ask ICE to show mercy for Mary Bell. Let's make this a case where those who deserve to be here can stay to be here and be a part of the American dream. Mary Bell says she left Mexico 15 years ago because the Mexican drug cartels were targeting her family. She still has a motion to reopen her case before the Board of Immigration Appeals, but she could be in Mexico before that even happens. Reporting live downtown, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.